All right, and welcome back to another episode of DJ Crypto. This time we're going to be talking about how to actually get started investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So as you're watching this video, I am going to switch over to my desktop and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to actually invest into Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, which then you can turn into other cryptocurrencies and we'll talk about how to make that most successful for you. So let's get started. All right, so what you're looking at here is, uh, say you're watching this video right now, all you'd have to do is you scroll down just a little bit to the comment section right here, you hit show more, and I've linked for you uh, the link to Coinbase, which is where you're going to actually purchase your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or your Litecoin. Now, Bitcoin you've probably heard of. That's the, the main cryptocurrency. Um, and then Ethereum and Litecoin are two very close contenders with Bitcoin. Uh, they operate a little bit differently, but essentially you can trade any of these coins for any other coin. So whichever one you invest in off out of the gates, you're going to be able to move it around however you'd like later. So go ahead and click on this link right here and that will take you to the next page, which our next page, that link will send you directly to this page right here. So what this is, is Coinbase is a, uh, a company that allows you to purchase uh, cryptocurrencies online. Now there's other options out there. I know that Coinbase is trustworthy and they're a fantastic company. They're very large. They're one of the first um, to allow online purchasing of Bitcoin. So this is who I use. Uh, if you have another preference or someone else tells you otherwise, you're welcome to go that direction. Um, but what I've also done for you is I've, I've put this as a referral link. What Coinbase does is if you are referred by someone, then you and the referrer get $10. So say you watch these videos, you really enjoy what you're listening to, you, in, you invest in cryptocurrencies, it's working well for you, you start telling your friends and family, you can give them a link from your account and everyone who signs up under you and invests at least $100, which it says right here, they buy $100 or more worth of Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin, then it gives you $10 and the person that uh, you got involved. So I've given you this link here so that you can earn a free $10. Uh, and, and it's worked for me many, many times. So I know that it's uh, actually functional. So what you do is you're going to be sent to this screen right here, coinbase.com. Uh, and if you use the link, you'll have the referral bonus. And then you come down here and you fill out your information. So I've already pre-filled out mine, first and last name, uh, email, and password. And then I'm doing this for real. I'm going to make a, an account here for you so you can see exactly what the steps are. You click the I'm not a robot button, certify that you're 18 years or older, and you hit sign up. All right, and so once that loads, it's going to take you to this page right here to verify your email. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to go to your email address, uh, find the email from Coinbase, and then open up that email. All right, so we're in and logged into our email address and we've found the email from Coinbase. So go ahead and open up that email and click on, it says in order to start your Coinbase account, you need to confirm your email address. Go ahead and click on verify email address. Now it's going to ask you for what state you live in. So uh, if you're not a resident of the United States, just change the country. Um, but you scroll down and I'm from Utah. So we're going to hit Utah and hit submit, whatever state you're from. Now, here's your brand new Coinbase account. So, uh, what, you, what this front page is, this is called the dashboard. This shows you the current going rates uh, and charts of the three major cryptocurrencies, which are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. At the time of this video, Bitcoin's around 4,700, Ethereum is almost at $400, and Litecoin is 72. Now, as you can see, all of these currencies have had an upward trend lately, which is why people are so excited about them. So um, now that you're in your account, account, here's the exciting part. This is where the meat of it is. It's super simple, and this is how you can actually purchase Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you click on Buy and Sell, and you have to add a new payment method. So what you're going to do here is you'll actually click on Add a New Payment Method right here. 
And you can either add a PayPal account, a bank account, or a credit card or debit card. Now the bank accounts, it says four to five days, um, and that really is four to five days. So if I use a bank account, I have to verify the bank account first. So I'm going to have to uh, go in there and say, all right, here's my bank account information, my routing number, and then it will send me two deposits, and then I have to go in there and verify the two deposits landed in my account. And so it's a couple day process to make that happen. If you use a credit card or a debit card, it is instant as well as a PayPal account. If you say purchase uh, one Bitcoin or one Ethereum or even fractionals like 0.2 or 0 0.02, it will, it will charge the card and it will immediately put that currency into your account. So if you've got something you're looking to invest in immediately, like an ICO that's coming out, an initial coin offering, kind of like an IPO from the stock market, it's when a new coin is first launching, and so they're looking for initial investments. If you're looking to get in on ICO soon, I would recommend using a credit card or debit card. Now the downside of that is that the, the fees in order to purchase the currency is a little higher. We're talking like 1% or 2% more uh, for using a card instead of a bank account. Um, so it's definitely worth it in most cases to use a card if, it's, if, if the four to five days are going to extend your, um, the time frame so that you miss an opportunity to invest, to invest your money. So um, you'll want to link a bank account eventually in order to pull your money out of Coinbase. Like when you have Bitcoin, you've done your investing, you're ready to extract some back to your bank account. You have to have a bank account linked. You can't send it straight to a debit or a credit card. So you'll, eventually you'll want to link a bank account. It's real simple. It just takes a little bit of time. Or you can use a debit or credit card. And once you link a debit or credit card, you just put your information in here. You hit next. It verifies the card and it links it to your account. It'll pop up right here in the payment methods. All right. So we've clicked on buy and sell after we've added a payment method. So this is what your, your buy and sell page is going to look like. Something very similar to this. You're going to have Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin to work with, which you can click on the Buy button, and depending on whatever you'd like to purchase. Now, if I were you, I'd take a look at the, the graphs and, and find out which one you'd like, or you can just purchase Bitcoin because you know the name better, or Ethereum or Litecoin. Talk to, uh, send me a message. I can give you some information about what, what I would recommend at the time that you were watching this video. Or you can ask someone that, that you know that invests in cryptocurrencies and get their opinion. Or just invest in one so you can get started. You can even start with, I'd recommend starting with a small amount of money. Um, something that you, you're um, willing to invest, which you also wouldn't be heartbroken if you lost it. Because the first few times you're going to be moving money around and trading it, um, there's a good chance you're, you're going you're to uh, be learning. And so some of that money um, is going to go up and down. So, so don't invest your life savings into this the very first time you do it. You want to make sure that you understand the process and that it makes sense to you and you're comfortable with it before you really um, start putting large sums of money in here. So what this does for me on this buy page is it tells me that right here that Bitcoin is currently going at this rate, Ethereum's going for this rate, and Litecoin is selling for this rate. So I can click on and say I want to purchase Bitcoin. I can click on this and then I can select my payment method. Again, if it's, if it's through a checking account um, or a bank, it's going to take four to five business days to process. If you want the money right away, you click on your credit card once you've added that. So you add your credit card, and then you click on that credit card, and you come down here, and, and it'll tell you your weekly limit. What is it that you can actually purchase each week? Um, you can always increase those limits by verifying the account further. And then you come down here and you say, I want to invest another $100. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell me it's using up this much of the card of the weekly limit. Uh, it's giving me $100 worth of invested in Bitcoin. And so here that would be worth 0 0.02 uh, Bitcoin. And if I were to do Ethereum and do that same number, obviously we'd purchase more of it. And so um, depending on whatever you want to purchase, this is essentially the exact same. Um, this, is, this number here is the same as the 0 0.02 Bitcoin. The coin is just worth um, less. Uh, per coin and so that's why you're getting more of it. So once you type this number in over here it gives you the details of your purchase so they'll take a small fee um, for their process of, of their online transfer of funds 
And then they're saying you're going to be spending $100. Your subtotal of what you're actually getting in coin is $96.16, and the fee is $3.84. Now you can buy as much as your limit's going to allow. You're going to hit buy Litecoin instantly. It will purchase it for you, and that will, and then you can come over here to accounts. Now, once once you've made a purchase with a credit card with a bank, it'll make the purchase. It'll show up in your uh, in your wallet here as a pending transaction, and but you won't see it. It won't be usable until four to five days. If you use a credit card, it'll be usable right away, like immediately upon purchase. And so we'll come here to Litecoin, uh, and you can see that I have a balance of five dollars and thirty-two cents. So we'll say I purchased that. Now this is already invested in Litecoin. If I were to do nothing and just let it sit there after I just bought some with U.S. dollars. If the price of Litecoin changes, my investment goes up. And so uh, you can, there's, there's a few different types of investment strategies with cryptocurrency. In the next video, I'm going to go more in detail and in depth about uh, what your options are uh, and, and give you some information so that you can make the best decision of what's right for you. But if you were to just purchase the coins and then leave them on Coinbase, they would adjust with the going markets. And so you technically could make an investment by purchasing and holding. And then you have you are invested in the cryptocurrency market. So if Litecoin doubles in value and goes up to $144, then your current, say you bought one Litecoin for $72, your investment would now be worth $144 and you can cash that out. That's how you invest in cryptocurrencies with US dollars. That's how you get started. So go ahead, click on the link down below, uh, the Coinbase link that I've added to the comments. Click on that link, create the account, get some, uh, some coins so that you can start investing in the cryptocurrency market. And in the next video, we'll talk about investment strategies so that you can learn how to use that money most effectively. I can't tell you how excited the, the cryptocurrency industry has, has uh, made my life. I love it. It's exciting and it's fun. There's so much to learn, and I truly believe that this is the future of all of our technology. Everything is going to be run off of cryptocurrencies um, and the blockchain technology that is developing them, uh, similarly to how everything is run off of the internet, to internet today. I believe that really this is the beginning of a huge new technology boom that you're getting in on the ground level of. So go ahead and get started here. And, uh, and join me in the next video to find out how to use this to your advantage. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.